All right, today I am taking a look at one of my all-time favorite under-the-radar whiskeys. This is Crown Royal Black, and obviously overshadowed for a couple of reasons. One, Crown Royal is such a huge brand. Two, it's Canadian whiskey, so it kind of sits in the category and in the shadow of its big brother that, you know, it's probably never going to come out of. Anyway, Black, uh, Diageo uses this for Johnny Walker very successfully, mostly denoting a smokier blend, but... In this particular case, it's got more of a proportion of the bourbon component that all Crown Royal has in their blends. It's just more of it. So what you really get, and you can even see a little bit darker color there, what you really get with Crown Black is the fruit, the grapiness, the lightness, the drinkability of regular Crown Royal paired with this backbone of spice, bourbon, oak. And that is why... I really enjoy Crown Black. Plus, it's 90 proof, so same proof as uh, Buffalo Trace, Elmer T. Lee, etc. All right, let's take a sip. Still nice and soft, but there's a chewiness to it. There's an oak spice to it that you just do not get in Crown Royal, which is extremely easy to drink. But I would say this is still very easy to drink, very pleasurable, but still has more of those flavor components that you're going to love in any whiskey.